Okay, so this afternoon we're going to be testing some um, puree. This is garlic puree. I'm going to bring it up to the camera so you can still see it. it. Seems to be quite finely chopped. I would describe it as wet. It's not dry. It's obviously gone green. Um, but what we've done is we've taken half a gram and we've done, we've extracted it into two mils of um, the buffer. So what we have is we have the food sense. So the food sense has three main parts. It has the sensor, it has the meter, and it has the app. Now the app allows you to measure the hotness of chili, the punch of garlic, the sulfite in white wine, the ginger oil, or the ginger and ginger or the ginger oil and ginger oil, the pH, turmeric, vanilla, E. coli. So we're gonna test garlic. The next thing I'm gonna do, take the sensor put it into the um, meter, which we're doing. Take the pipette. So I'll take just um, 40 microliters. Right, so we've done that. Now we'll do the measurement itself. Simple enough. Um, it's loading the method. It's now running the method. So this takes about 60 seconds. So um, in some other videos, you'll see us um, handling. We've been doing whole cloves. So we've done some violet this afternoon. We've also done some morado this afternoon. And we've also done some English this afternoon. So we've been testing a whole bunch of um, very pungent um, cloves, and we just thought we would compare it um, to a puree sample as well. It's very interesting that, you know, it, it does go green quite quickly, so um, we'll be talking about that in other videos. So now we're about 30 seconds into the assay. If you actually, um, if you're so interested, I'm just gonna show you that. So basically, this, this, these little food sense meters they sort of able to fit in the palm of the hand. It's quite easy to actually put the sensors in like that. Um, they're very robust and it's a sort of good fast test for things like, you know, what's the hotness of my chili or what's the pungency of my garlic? And it all, they all work with exactly the same meter. It's only the sensor that changes. So we're just getting to the end now. We'll get a score back. And that's it, 1.43. So um, we've tested other garlics this afternoon, but in this particular case, this uh, puree had a score of 1.43. If you've got any questions regarding food sense, please contact us. Thank you very much.